everybody. Welcome to Christ Kids TV. You know, we always have to start with a prayer, so I want everyone to fold their hands and bow their heads. Dear God, thank you for the gift of our church. Guide us as we learn more about your amazing love for all of us. And all God's children said, Amen. Have a wonderful week, friends. See ya. for the memory break. Hey everyone, it's Miss Kate. Have you noticed that there are lots of things growing and blooming right now? Kind of like these azaleas right here. And maybe you've even been planting things at your house that you hope will grow this spring. I can't think of a better time for us to learn about growing in Jesus. Growing in Jesus helps us to be more like Jesus so that we can share his love with everyone. And our memory verse helps us to learn some special qualities of Jesus that we can have too. Listen to Psalm chapter 103 verse 8. It says this, the Lord is compassionate and merciful very patient and full of faithful love. Wow, I just heard four qualities of Jesus. Compassionate, merciful, patient, faithful. TV will be teaching us what, what each of those qualities mean over the next few weeks. But if they're qualities Jesus had, then I wanna work hard to have them too. Let's learn some motions to go along with the verse. The first time through, you can repeat after me, and then we'll do it one more time all together. Ready, stand up with me. Okay, it starts like this. The Lord is, and you're gonna point up to heaven. Compassionate. Give yourself a great big hug and rock back and forth. And 
merciful. Very patient. Touch your wrist like you're wearing a watch. And full of faithful love. Cross your arms over your chest like this. All right, let's do it one more time all together. Ready? The Lord is compassionate and merciful, very patient, and full of faithful love. Great job. Now, here's our friend TV to teach us what compassionate means. Compassionate means to want to help others when they are hurting. Being compassionate might look like giving somebody a hug when they are sad or helping someone up when they fall down. Jesus is compassionate and we can be compassionate too. How will you be compassionate this week? After time, after time. Hello friends, welcome to Christ Kids TV. I'm Pastor Melody. I'm so glad you're here today. And guess what I have? I have these yummy tacos and I'm so hungry, but I have three of them and I wanna share them with one of some of my friends. Hey, hey friends, come on over here. Hey friends. Hey. Hi, come have a seat. Come have a seat. Hey, Mom. Hi. Hi. Hold it. Wait, wait. Um, do you want a taco, Jack? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You can have this taco. Do you want that taco? Yeah. Okay. And. Hey, Mom. I broke your trying to stop. Oh. But I really want a taco. You know what? That makes me very disappointed. But I still want to give you a taco. Do you know why? Why? Well, let me tell you this story, okay? Jesus was um, with all these people and he told them a parable. Do you know what a parable is? No. Uh, yes, kind of. It's a story that Jesus told to make a point, okay? So Jesus told the story of this really, um, rich guy who wanted to throw a banquet. A banquet's like a big meal, a celebration. And he invited you know, the rich people. He invited the, the people who were religious. And do you know what? Why? They didn't come. They made up excuses why they couldn't be there. But this guy wanted to still have a party. Do you still want to have a party? Yes. Awesome. He still wanted to have a banquet. And so what he did was he sent his servant out into the street to invite everybody. Everybody was invited to the banquet and they had a great time. What does that mean? Well, let me tell you what that means. It means that God didn't just come for the rich people. He didn't just uh, have heaven for the people who were religious. Jesus doesn't just forgive the ones that he wants to. God's love is for everybody. God's forgiveness is for everybody. What about the sinners? Even the sinners even the poor people, even the people that are hurt are, uh, are there for God's love. God loves everyone no matter what. It's equal in God's eyes. So do you know what it means to be equal? No. It means that you're on the same level. You know, like sometimes I think I love tacos more than pizza. What? Do That's you love crazy. tacos more than pizza or pizza more than tacos? I tacos. love them both equally. You love them both equally. Jack? I like tacos. You love tacos more than pizza, right? Yeah. But here in God's eyes, we are all equal. No matter, like I'm old, right? And I've been through seminary and I study the Bible. But do you know what? 
God loves me just as much as he loves you. And just as he loves you. And just as much as he loves you. God loves us all equally. God loves tacos too. Are you guys ready to eat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's break into these. Mm -hmm. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this train this train is bound for glory this is made a place in heaven for me this train is bound for Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me this train is bound for glory this train this train this train this train hey friends well i'm sitting here in my kitchen because after pastor melody and her friends started talking about pizza and tacos i got so hungry and now i don't know do i want pizza or do i want tacos i don't know i really like both what about you guys do you like pizza or do you like tacos or do you like both you know what somehow i feel like maybe our lesson today is not about pizza and tacos or food i, I thought i heard something in there about learning more about god's love and how it's for all of us I found this video. Let's watch that together and see if we can figure out what we're supposed to be learning about today. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the great banquet. This is Jesus. Hey, oh, who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus went to eat at the house of a Pharisee. He said to the Pharisee who was hosting the meal, When you give a dinner, do not invite your friends, your family, or your rich neighbors, for they will invite you back, and that will be your only reward but invite the poor and those who have trouble seeing and walking. Then God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. When a man at the table heard what Jesus said, Ahem. he said to Jesus, what a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied with a story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. Already. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servant to tell the guests, Come, the banquet is ready. Ah. But they all began making excuses. One said, I have just bought a field and must inspect it. Please excuse me. Another said, 
I have just bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please excuse me. Another said, I just got married, so I can't come. The servant returned and told his master what they had said. What? No way. His master was furious and said, go quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and invite the poor. And those who have trouble seeing and walking, After the servant had done this, he reported, there is still room for more. Great, all right. So his master said, go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. For none of those I first invited will get even the smallest taste of my banquet. Goodness, our lesson this week has nothing to do with food at all. It has to do with the most amazing gift ever in the history of gifts. Want to know what it is? God's love. God's love for you, God's love for me, and God's love for everyone. You want to know a secret? None of us are perfect. The only person who is ever perfect is Jesus. So you and me, we're not perfect and we mess up sometimes, but you know what? God loves all of us. It doesn't matter if you're tall or short. It doesn't matter where you live, where you go to school. It doesn't matter because God loves us all. So this week, I want you to go out and show God's love. Have a great week, friends. Thank you for joining us on Christ Kids TV as we grow in Jesus.